That's one seventy, Roy. Fucking hell. A carton of orange juice from Dev's for one twenty, and I could buy an actual orange and squeeze the bastard myself for thirty pence, and for a sherry glass full of juice I'm getting bent over for nearly two quid. Oh, shut up and drink it, you miserable shit house. I intend to make it last. You can always earn a bit by pimping Haley out. This isn't Hollyoaks, Bev. Well, all Prophet David has done is lie to my face and offer me a bunk up. He's only like 13, isn't he? 16, ma'am. And he's just told me I'm going to prison. Oh. Can you even go to jail for being a dirty harlot nowadays? He didn't say why I was going to jail. It'll likely be something with indecent before it. I can't help thinking this is something to do with Charlie somehow. He mentioned Charlie. If it's any consolation, I've not defecated in three hours. Are you for real? I'm this close to going back and knocking fuck out of it. Tracy, don't you dare do that. Well, it's bollocks, all of it. I didn't think you could be arrested here, actually. Only murder, as far as I'm aware. All deviance is accepted. There's got to be something you can do for me. Like what? I've got wind. Anything. I'd just think of something that isn't your ass. I've done two over this week. It's not fair, this. No, I don't... I, I started this. I, I tried to do a good deed for everyone. You opposed it. Just shut up. The King of Sleaze has entered anyway. Found yourself a lady yet, Dev? There's a swing as ad in here, so I think I should be unsheathing the sword. Still employing gobby shits in that shop? Well, she allows you to work here, fair's fair. You do know you'll need to make that position vacant again soon. Oh, you're going to go Norman Bates on my staff, Norris? You thinking of sneaking in and stabbing them? You better not be, because I'll knock you out with my cock. Oh, your erectile dysfunction's gone, then. I'm not vain, so... I don't have to worry about things like that. Yes, because you're a wrinkled-up old twat with a burst balloon for a dick. <laughs> you're not wrong there, lovey. Listen, my radar is like a whale's for chicks right now. I can sense the juices flowing. How disgusting. Well, are we going to make me chief murderer? We'll have to consult Emily before we decide anything. There's no more fucking sarsaparillas left. We can buy more. You can fuck off. You wanted my blessing and you're pissing on it. Ah, see, you just want to feel notorious on your own. I'm right again. Mm. No one more notorious than you, you old slapper. Oh, Jack, I'm gagging for a bang. I could knock you off right now. Get that one off, you duff bitch. I don't care if you're not in mood. We're going home, having a session. Then we'll have corned beef balms with brown sauce. Ah, uh, corned beef. I just uh. want to use them nipple clamps and all. They'll be going rusty. Ah, uh, it's shocking. You need to clear that pigeon shit out of our love nest. Ah, uh, terrible, terrible. It's exciting though, Jack, isn't it? What, pigeon shit? No, the, f the fact that we have a love nest. We shouldn't still be active, you know. The older I get, the filthier I feel. What about you, Jack? Not as filthy as them gents in a minute. So have I earned my tip today, Mr. Builder? My gratitude's expressed in other ways. You know, at home, my wife is just happy with a sandwich. Then again, she always is. Hmm. Well, I don't want a fucking sandwich. No, I'm sure you've ingested enough for one evening. You know, David's been saying some shit recently. David? Oh, yes. The little rodent-faced, sexually frustrated clairvoyant. I forgot how important his opinion is. He just wants to bribe every bird for a quick fiddle. Well, I've got to work via Duck Street, so just put the sheets in the wash before you go, yeah? I'm sure my mum's getting speared by Fred Elliot. And I think Bev's involved as well. I know I sound like a jealous old twat, but but they're leading her down a dirty path. I wish I had a dirty path. David! What? Your hair keeps changing every day. It's weird. Today's the day. I hope my condoms are still in date. That takes the piss. <laughs> well, Swingers Club will take us. Brighton can be our new home. Hey, I know it makes sense. Yeah, it does. It's a shame I disown Shelley for being shit. But we can spend our final days giving it death. I think I'll 
think it's bang out of order how lovely young boys like my Chesney are under threat from murderous old wankers from this shop. They kill kids. I'm sorry, but I'm not one of them. I'm on the lavatory most of the time. I'm talking about your bold mate and that Marlena Dietrich wannabe and holy bloody Mary. I'm just covering shifts here, so fuck off. Hear that, Chesney? Colonel Cole on here condones it. Gone from patronising to patron. Come on. Jerry's ready for popping. Oh, what passion killer this is. I've had just about enough of your misting Meg shit for one week. I don't like gobshites, David. Never have. Look, I, I only tell them what they want to hear. So you're a liar? Well, I might have to stick Mr. Quack up your crack. My class is losing your virginity. Listen, you're going to be on Emmerdale soon. Nobody will give a shit about... Nobody will give a shit if I drown your miserable self in this nice warm water. Yep. Should be warm. <laughs> I took the liberty of aiming a big steaming piss into it before. Very potent. You've pissed in it. Are you ready? See this? Tastes like piss. God. I made sure I was dehydrated first. You deserve only the best. Fucking tip it here. Well, I'm not fucking around, Ashley. Don't we need the license for this? Fuck them. Can't run an hotel without one. Nobody visits here. Can we just get the place looking nice first? There you go. Hold on. A bloody big fresh turd to put on your plants up front. Dad, flowers in the front garden. She wants it looking inviting. Even a brothel has to have some standards. I've got a bad feeling about it. Claire, you don't have an age limit on guests, do you? Who's asking? Huh. Well, I was thinking. I could come stay for a bit if you like. I'm getting cold feet about sodding off with Bev. You understand? Of course. It's just... I don't want to die in Brighton. I'm a virile bastard. I say virile. <laughs> I can't fucking breathe. Can you use your powers and tell me if that's a permanent predicament? <laughs> You're a cunt. Our survey said. Fuck off. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm nearly dead. I was just demonstrating what it's like going down on you. <laughs> You're going to fall from a bridge in Abedell, you cunt. Nobody's interested, so shut the fuck up. Arrogant little weed. Needs Norrison if you ask me. David, wait! Fuck off all of you! Well, that was a laugh. I love me some water sports. I'm telling Tracy. David, you wet through. I don't know whether to congratulate you or be disgusted. He must have more skills than his father did. <coughs> I can't spend my life in an old folk swingers hovel. Can't get a suck without taking dentures out. I just wanted what I thought you did, Fred. I'm quite happy staying on Sorry Nation Street. We put you up here if we could. But you know as well as I do, it'd be a bit weird accommodating you and Bev. I'd never get it up for Claire. I'll have you know I'm not right fussed about your goings on, squeaky fucker. I've heard me needs, and if I want to wrap some fucking sausages around somewhere bent, I'll do it locally. I say locally. What do you hoes all of a sudden have feelings, eh? You're a fucking wrong in you. Maria, that would imply by bizarre logic that you are in some way proper. You had this coming to you. Hey. Do you mind not smashing me door down, you mad twat? I want to talk to you. What's happening? Territorial bollocks. I picked the wrong street. It bloody stinks in here. I knew it were a bad idea having you standing in. Norris, you old bastard. What's bothering you, Norris? Just this killing business is knackering. I want to return this place to the good old days, but they just keep multiplying. I, I, I throttle one and another appears in a fucking bubble jacket. I, I can't get from A to B without text words appearing in mid-air. I blame Hollyoaks for fucking television up. This shop is the only thing they haven't modernised or turned into a smoothie bar. 
Well, if if you don't mind, I blocked the lavatory, so this case will have to do. No. I need a word with Blanche if you can get in touch. I, I think Rita's getting a bit power hungry. She's on the red wreck now trying to find a chav to chloroform. I'll be taking her back to Blackpool at this rate for a run across the track. What do you think you're doing? She's an angry woman. <laughs> well, she's not come here for a group smash. She... I don't do that shit. So come on. You come round knocking it fuck out of my door. Letting yourself in like a monkey bailiff. I'm sorry, Tracer. You're a mate for a long time, but I've been... I've been... seeing Charlie. He's been choosing me over you. I think he's bad news. He tried to drown Prophet David. Too many weeping women on this street. Why would he try to drown David if he didn't have bad intentions? He said you're only fit for arse invasion. That any other way is like lying over a pothole. That you'd have no house if it wasn't for him. I've seen with David's head in the bath and I realise he's a fucking bad And I'm sorry. But because I realise now that I've been an horrible friend and a lousy hooker. How long has this been going on for? About three months. Right. He shouldn't be staying here. It's company, though. I agree. You don't need him. He makes you look like a right sad cow when you're making him breakfast at... Get out of my gaff, you unpainted little bitch. Coming round here, calling me sad. You're only in this sort because he needs skirt on the fucking red carpet. You've snapped me bra strap. Oh, that's nothing. I'm going to snap your twig neck in front of the whole street. Stop being overly aggressive. How do you Let's even... all calm down, eh? Fuck it. How do you even know about Wait, David? Get outside. Get outside. Is this a good time to get my cock out? Just get the Jesus, fuck out. I didn't mean it. Blood on the cobbles. You stay the fuck there. <laughs> a mate would support me, not interfere. You're pulling me fucking hair out. Yeah, and your eyes will be next. If anything, all this is going to do is turn people on. You're a bit part hairdresser. Right. Oh, will you fuck off inside? Get off me! Get off me! All you ever do is meddle. Hang around my patch with your mouth open, wait for a new swallow. You've got one client! Yeah, one. And just like Shelly, you have to move in on it. You were a mate. I'd be more worried about what's going to happen to you. He's living off you and feeding on me. Oh, fucking old bitch! <laughs> As fights go, that was fairly shit. Get fucked. Tracy, you can't keep making a twat of yourself. I'll happily show you how it's done, lovey. <laughs> Tracy, what's happened? Nothing. <laughs> oh, that was poorly timed. I fucking had enough Sorry. of this. Sorry. Shit had you, Stubbs. I think we're going to struggle to attract customers. Your voice is the least of our worries. I'm sick of your arrogant, smarmy, arm swinging twattery, Charlie Stubbs. Deirdre, shut the fuck up. Norris, I'm going to get Deirdre a Valium. You can't piss off now. You need to cover while shops up. You can do that. Stop being a cop. He's shit on the toilet seat, though. We'll put some bleach on it. That's not going to clean it before Rita gets back. Blow me, you bald twat. Come on, love. We'll have a whiskey, too.